Throne and Liberty is a disaster. And this is by Force Gaming. Big words, let's see if it's true. Up until today, one of my most anticipated upcoming MMOs that was scheduled to release this year has been Throne and Liberty. Previews of the game showed quite a bit it of promise good, with some yes. solo looking visuals, a large scale open world, big player counts, big and threes, some really yeah. interesting sounding features and systems for both PvE and PvP. This yeah. game, which has been in development for like over a decade now, seemed like it was coming together to turn out to be something pretty okay. decent. Well, the closed beta testing for Throne and Liberty began this week over in South Korea, and there was no no NDA. So what this means is we've had a bunch of streams and YouTube. No NDA and beta testing? That actually does sound good. That sounds that they are technically confident videos out there letting us actually see gameplay in action and hear some players early impressions. Nice. And um it's not looking good. In fact, <laughs> it's looking very, very bad. So bad, in fact, okay, I think that but there's why? a decent chance if this game launches as it is right now, it's just going to be a total absolute flop. Four items drop, four loot beams. Oh, come on. No one's that much of a zoomer which is a real bummer because like I was genuinely excited for this game. I was really looking forward to this game and I still intend on giving it a look because boring. I want to form my own opinions and impressions and I want to get, have smart, my own experience smart. with it. But it has quickly gone from one of the best looking new MMOs releasing in 2023 to quite pro possibly probably one of the worst. Like it, 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 just like that. Just like that. So Pass. let's go over some of the immediately glaring issues that have popped up over these past few days. First and foremost- Oh, look at that. Snoot's played it. Nice. Hands down, one of the most important things to get right in any game, in my opinion, combat. is the combat. What are the mechanics? Yep. How does it work? And how does it feel to play your game? Well, the combat in- The combat we have seen so far, honestly, every single bit of it currently looks kind of dull and boring. Worse than World of Warcraft combat, and that thing is like a million years old at this point. Throne in Liberty simply looks absolutely horrible. I'd go as far as to say it's probably one of the worst iterations of tab targeting that I've ever seen for what is supposed it's to be a triple targeting? PC MMO. And this is not a tab target versus action combat discussion. It's not a debate about the pros and cons to both of those systems, because I played and enjoyed a ton of tab targeting in many... It did not look uh, like tab targeting to me in most of its gameplay. Wow, that was unexpected. Different MMOs. Hmm. I think that system is totally adequate. I think it's got its own merits to it. And there's parts of tab targeting that I even like more than action combat and vice versa. This isn't about that. This is just a really bad version of tab targeting. My problem is like you can't move and hit. So if any kind of movement, but it's very, very, very static. Like if I hit- You're kidding me. They made tab targeting combat that is worse than World of Warcraft because you cannot move and hit at the same time. What? What? You... No wonder it's been in development for over a decade. It's probably going to need three more decades to actually get its combat right. Oh, wow. Wow. See, this is why you do not trust promotion materials, pre-rendered videos, and you know developers saying, It's good, trust us, boys. It's great. Yeah. It wow. Moves, and then I run around. I literally won't do any damage. Now, if I change to a ranged weapon, then you have the same problem in that it's very, very static. If I try and move, I'm not going to do any damage at all, no matter how long the ability takes or anything like that. It just freezes you in place. People might like that, but I tell you right now, that's this stupid is it for me. So, as you can see, how they've implemented tab target combat in Throne and Liberty, it just hard roots you in place. And there isn't even auto attacking. Literally, there's practically nothing that you can do okay. while moving if you were moving you are not dealing damage to deal damage you have to stand completely still evidently and maybe un so he's saying when you want to cast even an instant attack skill you need to stop and then press the skill because if you're moving it does nothing how do you how do you make such a tremendously basic mistake it's not a single person on that developer team a gamer? Have they never played a vi single video game in their lives? 2D pixel games allow you to move and attack. Unsurprisingly, this has pretty massive effects on melee characters in PvP. How's melee? In Obviously. Ah, uh, it's dog shit. Like if the target is moving, you, you can't you can't attack them. But the PvP endgame is gonna be, you know, large scale, so that'll be different. 
But it, that's not well, gonna help. Once they stop, one can just run away. Because of the fact that you cannot move at all while attacking, and this is a tab target game and not an action combat game, the result is, is a combat system that feels very, very static. And by most accounts, pretty much from everyone that I've heard talk about the combat in the Horrible. game, it just doesn't feel good. It, it, it seems, and it seems pretty darn boring. And talking about PvP, it's pretty rough. Like I've seen clips of players, just both of them standing still. Well, what are you supposed to do if not stand still, if we're being completely honest in this situation, right? Is there a different choice than just standing still uh, still? I mean, run, uh, run Escape does it. I guess that's not a good example, but... <laughs> I mean, when in doubt, Run Escape out. Still continuously attacking each other, barely doing any damage. Because yeah, remember they're not—they're not, never going to be moving and dealing damage. They're both just because standing there, like staring yeah. at each other, swinging their weapons and casting spells, and the health bars are barely moving. Like what? <laughs> so you mean you're effectively immortal against anything in the game as long as you just run in a circle? That's insane. What is this? This is this isn't gameplay. And then there's also this clip of how PvPing as melee, uh, when people just decide to move, looks absolutely horrible. I mean, this seems incredibly frustrating. Like you just get, they just keep running away, and while they're running away, you can't do anything because yeah. you can't do damage while you're moving. I know some of you might be thinking, force. There are tons of games that have abilities with cast times or attacks that root you in place. And That's that is absolutely true. Though. This is not uncommon in games. The big difference here appears to be that there are virtually zero attacks that you can do while moving. So 95% of the time... Admittedly, this, on the bright side, this does, this probably, this should be an easy fix, right? You know, you just kind of take the box where it says... A, while moving you can attack it shouldn't be like the biggest thing in the world to fix I'm you have to stand completely still to do any damage most games that do have attacks that root you in place will also have some sort of movement attached to those attacks or they will let you weave movement abilities to keep up with things in between the, the attacks that you're doing well throne in liberty appears to have none of this but don't just take my word for it my anecdotal evidence from watching this and then the opinions that i'm pulling into this video from people who have been playing over these past few days Check this out. There was a Reddit thread a few months back that was detailing specifically how combat in Throne of Liberty works and what exactly about it feels so bad. Now, at the time that this was posted, people were writing it off as untrue because we hadn't Why? actually seen any oh. real live gameplay at that point in time. Well, now that we've actually seen the game in action, the way they describe combat appears to be spot on. Like they, they described it exactly how we're seeing it function right now, which okay. then also leads me to believe that the implications that good. they discuss with how this combat plays so you're telling me the developers already before had feedback that the combat is ass and they just still did absolutely nothing about it and now it's the second time around and now people are again telling them that the combat feels absolutely horrible wow plays out over time are true and they don't sound good here let's take a look so to quote them when you use a skill you are not able to move till the animation is over there are few very few skills which the animation also has movement you can see some of these in a few of the trailer videos examples being like the two-handed sword with the whirlwind yeah you see this is why i thought this is not even a tap targeting game or dual wielding that allows you to yeah, teleport see? to your target or the bow that has a backdrop. So basically they're saying there are some skills that have movement in this game, but most of them will hard root you in place for the entire duration. They then go on to say for people that Yo. associate the you can't move while using a skill to a system like the one from say Black Desert, it is really different. In BDO, 80% of the skills also allow you to move since they have movement attached to them and are weaved with mobility skills and animation cancel, which in turn makes your yep. character really mobile, making it seem pretty much that you move while attacking. And that is very true from what I remember mm. with my time playing Black Desert Online. While many of the Black Desert tur Online turns out to be the hidden goat that everyone actually compares every game to. It always happens like, oh, this is like Black Desert Online, but Black Desert Online... Dude, Black Desert Online is secretly literally the best MMO that we didn't even know existed.
the characters or attacks played. that I played did root them in place. Most of them did have some built-in movement, either sidestepping or sliding or dashing in pretty much any direction for a lot of the various attacks. Plus, on top of that, there's just so nice much slice. additional movement in the game that you weave in between those attacks, combining that with animation canceling. That resulted in combat that, while it did have rooted attacks, it felt very mobile. It was actually very mobile and rooted at the same time. Throne in Liberty has pretty much none of that, and the result is combat that just feels super static. And You've seen it for yourself in the clips that we've seen. You're just standing still, like half. But dude, even the the clips looked so bad, and playing it means that it feels even worse. It's the time, and there aren't even auto attacks in the game that will happen. You can't like chase a character and do auto attacks. There's none of that. You'll just stand. You'll be standing behind them doing nothing as you continue to move behind them. They continue to make points in comparing this tab target system to how it works in other MMOs. They say normally in tab target games you are able to move while attacking with a lot of your skills and abilities, like for example yep. in WoW and Sotor and Arc Age, etc. But the current TL system makes it so that combat of this game is really static, and even the Korean forums are already saying that playing melee classes is not even worth it because players and mobs can literally just walk away from 99% <laughs> of your damage by moving 0.5 meters. Range classes yeah, are fine great. since they work like they do for normal casters in many other MMORPGs as you cast the skill and then you move. So with all of this in mind, I'll just reiterate what I said at the top. This does appear to be like one of the worst iterations of tab target combat that I've ever seen. It seems incredibly static. It seems incredibly lifeless. Yo. It seems really, really boring. And if you don't have a combat system that is fun to engage with, people aren't going to stick around playing for... Maybe not a single developer is a melee player. Maybe not a single developer is someone who needs to make a warrior to make themselves feel good about their decrepit physique and they need to insert themselves into a power fantasy. Maybe that's why the developers have no idea that melee combat feels bad. No, wait, that makes no sense because they're still rogues. Oh boy, man. This is tough. This, this, this is tough. Such a huge mistake. That just means there's gonna be even worse mistakes down the line. When mistakes like this happen, they happen in droves. They happen one over the other over time, and they're always worse than the uh, last one. Because if you make a mistake this fundamentally bad, you have proved to everyone pretty much that you don't really know what you're doing. You, you're kind of like, you know, w watching what World of Warcraft does, watching what Final Fantasy does, you know, put in one more MMORPG, and then you're kind of trying to mix and match it, but you don't really know what's happening. Or pretty much anything else, like the, whatever is in the rest of the game isn't going to matter. Throne of Liberty does have some cool things, but players aren't going to be around to see the big seamless open world. They're not yep. going to be around to see the cool dungeon system or the interesting large-scale boss fights and large-scale and open-field PvP. If the game is not fun to play, most people won't be around to engage with any of that. To help alleviate the fact that combat does appear to be very, very boring, they have automated literally all of it yes auto just about every aspect of playing the game you have auto attack wait can you just uh right click on the skill and then it just automatically casts off cooldown that's some Runescape 3 right there, boys. And skill use, where basically you can toggle your abilities so that they will instantly trigger the second that they're off cooldown. If that wasn't enough, though, there's just full-on <laughs> auto combat. If you click the auto farm button, you can just AFK, and the game will grind mobs in the area for you. Amazing. Continuously attacking while you're go off making a sandwich or watching a movie or whatever. So, they decided to put in re the repetitive grind in this game. And instead of making it just fun or enjoyable, they decided, hey, we're going to automate this because no one's going to stick around otherwise. Wow. This is the same when your character just automatically walks to the next quest or where you need to go to the city <laughs> like Diablo Immortal. That's insane. Whatever this game is going to be There's so also bad. There's pathing, of course, where you can click parts of the map, click on a quest, and it will automatically run there for you. In fact, they have a full-on autoplay offline mode. What does that mean? Well, oh it means my the game God. plays itself while you are logged out and the computer is shut down. It appears to be a time limit of eight hours a day, and I will make sense. That doesn't seem like a coincidence, right? Because you sleep eight, eight hours a day. Around a day. The same amount of time that most people tend to sleep. Yeah. It's almost as if they're trying to incentivize people to have their PC on running, either playing themselves or auto playing for 16 hours.
Bro, bro, who wants to bet while you're auto playing? There's a Bitcoin miner <laughs> running in the back. <laughs> there's the moment you switch auto play on. There, there's this exclamation mark and, and it says. While auto playing, you allow us to use your device as a Bitcoin farming rig. <laughs> Bruh! What? Looking at this crap right here, I wouldn't be actually too surprised if that's actually what's gonna happen. ...hours a day, and then, while you're resting for the eight hours at night, shut it down, don't worry. We've got auto offline play where the game will play itself for you. And I think the worst part about that is it's going to create these situations where people are going to say they end up staying up later, right? They shut off their PC, they click auto play, and they, they don't fall asleep for a couple of hours. You, you know people are then going to wake up after six hours when their eight hours of auto offline play is running up to make sure that they log back in and click auto play while their PC is also running. Like, it's just so much of it <laughs> is an absolute nightmare. Although I will wow. say, I don't even care so much about a game that has auto combat or auto pathing or auto skill use on cooldown you know what me too because i will never play a game like that playing something like that i know i don't know what kind of person you need to be to play that it does it doesn't even look honestly like it has that many hot waifus in it to justify me using an auto play feature just to get my next skimpy armor set you know it, it just doesn't look like that kind of experience so yeah i don't care about the auto play option because this video alone has kind of already did the perfect job convincing me that I will not play this game. That's it. I was looking forward to playing it, honestly, previously. But I didn't hear, hear any of this. Now, 100%, I'm not downloading it. No way. I just, I just w saved myself time, actually. You know how good that is? Amazing. Sounds like games can have that if you also still have a good combat system and if the this trade-off is yes you can automate things but it won't be as efficient if you're playing by yourself fine whatever if you want that in the game for while people are afk and they still want to accumulate some gold i don't love how that just plays into fomo where you got to feel like you're constantly keeping your pc running although i guess this game alleviates that with offline play but imagine also the amount of bot farmers that don't even need to be bot farmers anymore they just make like 10 accounts and they put all all of them on auto farm for eight hours a day and they literally never log on and they have a freshly amazing level 60 account to sell to, to people right there off the bat dude you, you don't you're making it so even the bothers don't have to work in this game what a time to be alive my point is although i do not prefer the game's have these automated systems for combat um for playing itself for farming i don't love those things i don't kind of love the pressures that they create within the game i feel like they t ultimately take away from the gameplay experience but if games have them fine it's that in conjunction with the fact that just normally playing the game evidently from all we've heard and seen again i haven't played myself i will i promise and there will be follow-up videos all accounts and all reporting from this current test say that playing the game feels bad but don't worry you can just automate it all to play itself anyways. <laughs> and none of this is even touching on, That's and great. I will touch on this in the future because I will continue to cover and, okay. and dive in myself, like I said. None of this talks about the cash shop, which already seems likely to be very paid nice. to pay to skip. You know, nice. NCSoft has notoriously had a bad monetization in every single one of their MMOs. The only- Okay, let's be real for a moment. If a game that literally allows you to automize every part of the gameplay so you don't have to play the game, doesn't have a pay to win battle pass or severely extreme pay to win features and microtransactions in general it's it's a miracle you know if when you when you hear things like this yeah you expect all of those things to be real we're returning back to the golden days of the 2000s when you were trying, you when you were AFK leveling your MU online character, okay? You were farming something AFK. We're returning back to those days because I, I, I think we're in a regression. The only exception that you can point to is Guild Wars 2, but keep in mind, they didn't make Guild Wars 2, right? They, they didn't create Guild Wars 2. Every MMO that NCSoft has developed themselves it ranks amongst the worst of the worst when it comes to how these <laughs> games handle monetization. So it would be naive of us to assume there won't be True. tipping in that direction, if not at launch at some point after. And then I've got gripes like, I just think the UI looks bad. And I don't even mean stylistically. I just mean it's got that same look that feels like overly crowded and cluttered and, and busy and trying. 
what was the game that had something like this? This feels like Aeon of Strife or what? Yeah, it, it feels it. It kind this game kind of looks just like an Aeon of Strife, you know? The UI, the everything, it just makes me kind of feel like it. Man, when you have made an MMO that is worse than New World, you really tried hard to fail. Trying to att attract you to the shop and attract you to limited time events. And uh, these sort of UIs, the way they're designed to get you to engage with these other layers of systems and to get you to engage with the monetization. I nice. just hate, I hate, I, I really do hate it. I much prefer simple UIs. Let me focus on playing the game not focus on your layers of monetization. If you make a good game, I'll pay you more for it. I'll buy stuff. If you make a free to play game and I love it and I'm playing 50 hours, 100 hours or more, I will spend money on your game. But There's all these little bells orange. and whistles that they attach to try to lure people into that stuff, mm. just make a good game. Just that's what I want. Just make a good game. You know, when you put all this together, everything that we've talked about so far. Look at this, look at this, L look at this. These people are not having fun because they can't attack anyone. These people right here, 200 IQ gigabrains. They're having fun. They they are allowing the game to play for them themselves and they're attacking things at least. Wow. I want to just make a good game. You know, when you put all this together, everything that we've talked about so far, it makes it pretty clear that Throne and Liberty, as it sits right now, this is a game that has changed many, many, failure. many times over in the 10 plus years it's been in development. This used to be an isometric game. Check out some of my prior coverage. This used to be what? an isometric game. So it's very different from what it was when it started development all those years ago. Its current iteration, clearly is designed for mobile. There's no wow. question about that. With the way combat works and the fact that attacks root you in place, with the fact that there is auto everything, auto use of your abilities off cooldown, auto play, which they call astral hunting, auto move, astral all hunting. Of the timers and the limited use items. That's a good name though, astral hunting. Limited time use items. Yeah, that's definitely intended for mobile in that case. Then the microtransaction system and many other things that I haven't even discussed yet. All of this makes it seem pretty clear this is a game that they made to be played on phones they're also bringing it to pc at least other games try to hide the fact that they are mobile centric or that they spent a lot of time with mobile wow. as a focus and development when they have their pc ports they don't even try to hide it, it from what i've seen it just looks like a mobile game that you can play on pc and i think well i know the reason i made this video and what makes all of this all the more frustrating is okay. this is a game that has like a ton of really cool things going for it. There's a lot of potential here. I mean, for one, the visuals look fantastic. I can't knock them here. You, seeing this game on high settings, the lighting, the environments, all of the effects, some of the transitions that take place, That's like true. when you're loading into areas, they've got this really cool uh, uh, transitional effect. Like visually, this game is very appealing. It also appears to be pretty well optimized. And most of the gameplay that I've seen on streams and YouTube videos seems to run pretty well, even with like 20, 30, 40 plus pl other players on screen. But then there are the systems. And this is the whole reason I got excited for Throne and Liberty in the first place. There's some systems. real amazing sound systems they've got this huge seamless open world which does appear oh open world okay got it that's the systems he's talking about i got a bit confused there here to bear out as bad as the gameplay looks the world looks impressive it looks big it looks like there's a lot going on a lot of npcs a lot of other players they've got their open world public dungeons so think dungeons uh but people can just wander in it it's not like instant oh, that's just cool in with a group of four or five big multi-layered dungeons with a ton of verticality that people can go in and out seamlessly you'll see tons of people in there they've got their weather and time of day and the fact that that impacts the world like changing the terrain but also uh, yeah that was cool you know that there's rain water starts flooding and th th those systems are cool but open dungeons have you played anarchy online one of the greatest games ever buffing and weakening monsters there's the pvp both large scale and open world with siege battles there's the fact that they now the irony of this obvious uh, th this little thing right here is the fact that now we know that not a single person is actually running into combat. Not a single person is gonna get damaged because they need to stop before attacking. There's the fact that they've got a classless system where your character's abilities and their capabilities are based off their the gear and the skills that you select. Like there's so much potentially cool, but like True. I said, none of that matters if the game isn't fun to play and none of it's gonna matter to True. much of the PC crowd if this d does just, which it appears to be, look to be a mobile game that they're just like shoving on a PC as well. Now, currently the game is scheduled to release later this year, sometime in October to be exact. And let me just say they cannot move forward and release this game as it sits. In my opinion, Throne and Liberty needs to be delayed again. If the game- I'm actually completely fine with them releasing the game as this. Again, this video has convinced me to not even give a shit about this game, okay? I, I don't care. 
what what I saw here is so fundamentally flawed that there is no way I'm downloading it ev ever. Even if everyone t tells me, "Oh, this game is good now. They fixed everything." Too late. Too late. It's just too late. So I don't care when it comes out. I'm not playing it, and probably no one honestly should launches with the combat that we're seeing here it's gonna get torn to shreds it's just far below what even relatively low standards we might have for mmo combat this doesn't cut it it's not good enough by all accounts Damn. from what i've seen it looks really bad Damn. if the game is gonna have any chance here in the west with that pc mmo crowd they absolutely need to and i know this is no small feat they need to update their combat system they need to change how they approach tab targeting keep the auto stuff if you want but make it playing the game actually feel good you know if you want to launch throne and liberty to go throne and liberty mobile version whatever have a blast go ahead it seems probably throne like it's liberty a solid mobile home. mmo but it does not seem like a good pc mmo whatsoever i'm pretty comfortable in saying that like if what we are seeing right now were to launch on steam today it would be sitting at mostly like overwhelmingly negative yep. reviews that would be my assumption the good news is there is still a lot of cool things here um the setting the gameplay space the visuals those all look great but they really need to fix the combat maybe work on the ui to not make it so intrusive and ugly and rain i i really love the fact that we now know that all of these people running around are literally not doing anything they're just running around like headless chickens if you're not standing you're not actually doing anything i, I just love the fact that now we know this it's it's kind of hilarious Rain in what I'm assuming are going to be pretty bad microtransactions. Is that all going to happen before October? Odds are pretty slim. And that just, it's its just disappointing because so much about what, what they have in this game, the world, those systems, would make for a cool game if the game were also fun to play. But it, it looks like... Um, Looks like we might be out of luck with Throne of Liberty, but I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. As always, I'm hoping for the best. I want good That's games. It? I like playing games. I want the games that I play to be good and be fun. Will Throne of Liberty get there? Um, well, you have a chance to just not play the game now, considering we know it's going to be a dud. Uh, phew, let's see. My confidence went from probably maybe somewhere pre this gameplay stuff coming out. I was like maybe 60 to 70% confident. Like there's a chance Throne of Liberty could be something. That's down to like 30, 20%. Nah. I, admittedly, yeah, I'm kind of on the same boat as him when it comes to, well, is this game going to be good or not? Before this, before I heard all of this, I was like 70 to 80% sure, yeah, this is going to be a game. This is going to be a playable thing. Is it going to be something that entices the whole world? Probably not. Is this going to be a winner for some people? Probably yes. Is this going to be something that I can enjoy at least for a period of time? Probably. But now, 20-30% success rate? My dude, that's huge. Again, this video completely has sold me on the idea that I'm not even going to try this game. I I'm not. It it everything they said is horrible. That's just how I'm feeling. But I will update you in the future. I will nice. play the game once the test comes to the West, once Amazon runs their betas of the Western version. Maybe the combat is entirely different. I, is it possible? I suppose, but... I, I'm not a developer, so I have no idea. But I, it honestly feels just like a checkbox to check it uh, to check in that you know while you're running auto attacks can happen and skills can happen you know i i think in my mind in my barbarian gorilla mind that's just a checkbox is it gonna is it actually so easy probably not but it's probably not also the hardest thing in the world to make that happen I'm not gonna hold my breath that's all i'm it's, and that's it's it. really just a bummer. That's what it comes down to. I'm so... Yep, and that's the end of the video. What a time to be alive. Did not expect this. And honestly, from everything I saw, I did not know that this is going to be a, tar tar a tar targeting game. You know, the the materials they show this here, you know, all of this. Thing or auto. Yeah, it, th this looks 100%, you know... Like, it's, it, this, this doesn't look like tap targeting at all. Nothing even close to it. I had no, I, I thought that this is just like right click, left click, bam, auto attack. I thought that this is that kind of a deal. But nah, turns out it's not. That's so insane. I think they knew what's up. 
honestly, I think they knew what's up. Because when you look at this uh, this style of combat and what we saw, it's very clear that the developers very, very much intentionally cherry pick the best looking things possible. Everything, in fact, to hide the, the true way that combat's gonna look. Did you even know that this is gonna be tap targeting? I didn't. Well, anyway, I think that's pretty much it. What a wild ride. I am not buying this. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.